Hey, Mr. Miyagi Stell, Daniel Sons. You guys are now Daniel Sons. I've decided that tonight. So, hey guys, uh, doing something different. Uh, I wish I, somebody would have sent me this. This is really cool. Have you guys seen this? This is the, mm, can you see it? 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 It is a auto face tracking gimbal. I don't know if it's a gimbal. It's not really a gimbal. You know, it's just a stand that turns, tracks your face. So it uses AI to track your face. So I'm like, this is kind of cool because I'm doing a, a lot of these videos and, you know, it's kind of nice if I'm moving. I'm always moving around because I'm ADHD, but. Uh, <laughs> and this thing will actually intelligently track you. It'll go back and forth and track you. And I thought, oh, this is kind of cool. It's, it's designed for cell phones, but guess what I did with mine? <laughs> You'll see in a second. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. Now uh, it's pretty simple, cheap. Um, I think I got it for, there's a whole bunch of these. There's ones that with remotes, ones with lights. I got the one that has it, the light uh, LED on the side. So that's kind of cool. Uh, um, it has a little camera in the front. So it actually tracks your face and it actually moves as you, as you pick a goal sideways, stuff like that. Uh, it does follow you. Uh, so if you have a phone on it, a phone watch, you keep recording wherever your face is and that kind of thing. So uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do vlogging and, and this kind of stuff. And you can actually, there's a, there's a quarter uh, uh, screw hole at the bottom for mounting on a tripod, which I'll show you in a second what I did. Um, just a couple of options to have your own little kind of a cameraman. So you don't have to go, I can't afford one, man. I don't make enough money on YouTube. I don't make any money on YouTube. What am I talking about? To, to hire a cameraman. So it's not like some of these professional content creators have their whole team of, it's like a, they're making a movie, man. I'm making like a home video. <laughs> hey, how do you guys like my back? I cleaned it up a little bit. Look at that, I got lights and stuff like that. It's looking kind of, eh. Uh, nah, it's still a whole bunch of crap back there. I just organized some stuff. <laughs> Same crap, just different place. Uh, anyways, back to opening. It's all box, very simple. Instructions. Uh, you have the USB-C cable, so it is a rechargeable battery in the base, so you don't have to have it plugged in. It just runs by itself. It lasts for a few hours. It's a 1800 milliamp battery. Um, so when you take it out, oh, shoot. Okay. So it looks like this, and you get this, and you get this like this. It's like tiny. It looks like a little electronic toothbrush, and it's got a base. So the base is a quarter inch, and there's a quarter inch screw at the bottom. And you can actually screw it on and it sits by itself okay so the top is where the arm is and it actually rotates to portrait and landscape mode and the arm opens up and it will actually stretch it's just like a phone holder right i got this one because i want the arm a little bit further out there's some that arms are really short you can actually it holds a pretty large phone like it holds my redmi note 13 pro and, and pixel 7. Uh, one thing I did want this is there was one that came with a remote. Uh, it's a blue. It's just a simple Bluetooth remote that to enable your shutter for your for your phone and that kind of thing. I thought, well, it was a little bit more too, right? And I, I realized that I dug through my stuff. It looks exactly like this remote here. I actually found this. It's an old remote from a selfie stick that I bought years ago, and it still works. And I actually paired it up with my phone, and I can actually use It's the exact same remote that comes with those, these, if you buy ones with the remote. It looks identical to this thing. I think it's probably the same thing. Anyways, it works. No big deal. Plus, my phone has gesture anyways, and so does some of the action cams. So you don't really need a remote anymore, right? Um, but yeah, it holds the phone, and it can actually rotate. And it has a light at the, on the side, so to operate the light, it's double, like, double click on the side. And, and light comes on and it's actually got a bunch of like it has it gets pretty bright and it has different it has the amber as well which is really neat so you can have that extra lighting if you're doing close-up I don't really need it it's kind of just neat nifty to have it there and it flashes in case you want to have like a seizure during your filming and to double click it, it turns off, right? So it's actually pretty neat, so it rotates. So it's actually really simple. It has a little camera in the front. And this camera can actually teeter-totter uh, on a vertical axis. So for higher, if you're up high, you want to move the camera out so it can detect your face. And I thought there was some setting up to do with this, but there really isn't. And the reason why I bought the one with the camera is because I didn't want anything to run uh, software. Uh, some of the older ones like this, you have to actually use the software and actually use your phone to control the gimbal 
uh, where this is independent. This one actually uses the camera, the uh, face detection camera, uh, to actually control the rotation of the of this gimbal or, or, or stand or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I didn't want anything attached. The reason why I did that is because I can put my action camera on this. So I can put my DJI Action 4, I can put my Ace Pro on this. And actually it works really good. And I'll show you how it works. So here's my um, Ace Pro. And I can actually put it in either this way or I can put it in this way. Because it fits either way, it doesn't really matter. If you put it in this way, you can't flip the screen up. So if you do it on a uh, landscape basis, you can actually flip the screen up. <clears throat> okay, And it actually just clamps your camera right on here and there it is very simple and you turn it on and it <laughs> there's no really no setting i'll make text your face and as you're moving this thing will actually turn and follow your face it's really cool so i thought this would be a neat little kind of a desktop vlogging thing because if i'm doing this kind of stuff i can literally like i'm using the dj action 4 and it'll film this and if i move side by side it doesn't move side by side so this is going to get mounted on a tripod where the this camera is right now that's filming and it's going to basically take over so if i'm moving back and forth or side by side this thing will actually turn and follow me so that's kind of cool uh, i've got a couple samples of blue of the uh I'll, I'll show you from the other view of how this thing works and and you can see it working um there's actually a, a couple of other options if you want to have your own kind of a cameraman um to take like a, a cheaper alternative this is this is the cheapest alternative the other alternative is is not as cheap uh, you guys have already seen this the hover x uh, air x x1 drone um great little camera and i i, I did a little sample at a, at a at a park here um and it it's pretty cool it could follow you around and, and do 2.7k video with audio or it can actually be in front of you like somebody's filming you from the front so I can literally do a whole sh video with somebody filming me that's there's nobody there it's just my drone filming me and wherever it go it follows me so you'll see in the sample what i mean so that's another alternative of of uh of filming yourself uh for vlogging purposes or any content creating that kind of stuff um the air drone the hover air x1 is not a cheap drone it's about the same it's about the price of a uh of a action camera um but still cheaper than hiring somebody right for if you're doing it uh, if you're doing content like this um it's kind of neat to have and it's actually really fun i took it on vacation with me and i did some really nice footage of the resort um and it follows you around and it does a whole bunch of other stuff too it doesn't just follow you around uh, i can do a whole bunch of preset uh, maneuvers uh but again you guys can do the research on that but i'll flip it around and we'll see how this thing works i got it all charged up uh and then uh, you guys can go from there all right ciao guys just a quick review on this uh this uh a200 What's the name? There's really no name for this thing. <laughs> I think it's Hayunta. I mean, China. There's a, there's a whole bunch of these, and they look all the same. They just rebrand them. Uh, that's all it is, right? So they essentially they're they probably made from the same factory. But it works really well. Um, this is the box, and it was twenty. I think I had a coupon for Amazon Prime, and I ended up paying up like twenty seven bucks Canadian, twenty eight bucks Canadian. So it wasn't a lot. Right. And they can go up to like 50 bucks for more features and that kind of, but honestly, you don't really need it. Anyways, I'll pan through and I'll show you how this thing works and uh, you can go from there. Okay, ciao. All right, I hope this works. So I've got this pointing at this thing right here. Um, so I'm going to turn it on. To turn this on, so I've got this mounted this way with the lid up. Uh, I'm just going to turn it on here and start recording. Yeah, you guys can see. All right. So pretty straightforward. So the base screws on and off. You can actually take this thing off, take the base off and put it on a tripod. I've got the light on um, and I'm going to start recording. So if I'm going to start recording here, so I've got my Ace Pro on here and it's starting to record. Okay. Um, let me just move the camera up. So it's actually pointing at my face. So I see this little camera at the bottom. It goes up, goes to the center and it goes down. Oh, no, it doesn't go down. It just goes up. All right. It doesn't go down. So it just goes up. So if I'm, if I'm above it, then you want the face track. So I do is just keep the button down. And it'll come on, the green light will come on. And it actually automatically do face tracking. So if I move, the camera's actually moving. <laughs> it's pretty wild. So it follows me around, right? So pretty cool. So if I'm like vlogging and I'm moving back and forth, I know the camera's always gonna face uh, uh, face me and follow me around from this little gimbal. Um, now the problem with this is that if you move too fast, it actually, you, it'll actually miss your face. So no sudden movements. 
Anyways, so you guys see how this works? So pretty cool. So if I move this way, ooh, look at that, it moves. And it goes, apparently it goes 360 degrees rotation. So it keeps going, let's see if I can get this going a little further here. Hope it tracks my face, I'm pretty high from it. There you go, see? So I'm about three feet away from this thing. And it's still tracking me, and I'm going this way. And it's still tracking me, so I'm about three, four feet away. That's pretty cool. So it works really well. Uh, hey, for 28 bucks, you can't lose. And I'm going to try this and put it on my tripod and see how it does with vlogging. So there you go. Hey, guys, enjoy. Have a good one. Respect. Ciao.